Hello everyone, uh, this is Zeitgeist, and today I'm going to run you through how to use my OPXY multi-sample tool. The uh, OPXY multi-sample tools are a collection of tools that I wrote and am sharing on GitHub for generating, recording, and packing multi-samples for the OPXY. Um, currently, there's no automated tool from Teenage Engineering that allows you to generate uh, multi-sample presets. So I decided to create some tools by reverse engineering the JSON I found on the device. Um, should be a handy thing to use until Teenage Engineering decides to create a tool for us. Additionally, I've also created a tool for automatically recording and generating uh, multi-samples, which can be used with the OPXY or any multi-sampler that you have. Um, so it's a pretty cool tool. So let's uh, check it all out here. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to my GitHub page for the OPXY multi-sample tool, which is linked in the description, and uh, download it and get it set up. There's a few steps for the setup. You're going to need Python 3 if you don't have it. Um, then once you get Python 3, you're going to need to install the pip requirements, which will just install some third-party libraries that this uh, these scripts use. And finally, you're going to need to install ffmpeg, which is used to uh, just look at audio files and figure out their sample lengths and those kinds of things. Um, the tools, there's kind of two main tools. One is a tool that is used for recording samples. It's useful for automatically recording multi-samples. Um, it allows you to specify a key range, a MIDI device, and an audio input device. And then it will automatically go one key at a time and trigger the note and record the input and then slice um, automatically slice those into individual WAV files. Then is the sample packer, which is a script that will take a group of audio files and pack them into um, the correct file name, the correct format, and generate some JSON so the OPXY can automatically play them as a uh, multi-sample device. So let's run through some demos here. Uh, first, I want to show you how to use the sample packer. Um, so uh, I have some samples here, which I uh, bought from True Cuckoo, the True Cuckoo six pack, which is a really great pack of samples. Um, you should check out if you haven't already. And he has created a audio sample for each and every key, well, almost every key on the keyboard. Um, and you see here the files are named. We got this aerial room wave, and it has, I think this is gonna play for us. Basically, a whole bunch of audio files. Um, the naming format is important here. So you see it says Ariel's Room 33 127. Um, there should also be one. You know, they keep going up and up. The first number here is the MIDI note. Uh, zero is going to be. Uh, C, uh, C negative one, which is the very bottom of the keyboard. Um, 127 is G9, and uh, 60 is C4 or middle C. So basically, every single step is a semitone along the keyboard. And then the second number is the velocity. Um, the OPXY currently doesn't support multiple velocities per key. So the script will automatically just find the maximum velocity and export it. So to turn all of these into a multi uh, multi instrument or a multi sampler instrument for the OPXY, we need to run the pack samples tool. So if you open up your terminal and type Python three, that's if you have uh, multiple versions of Python installed like I do, or you can just type in Python if you only have Python three installed. Um, then we See, we're going to do our pack samples.py dash dash input, which is the input folder. So let's go here to Dropbox samples. Then we are going to go to Cuckoo Wave Aerial. There we go. Then we need an output. We're just going to drop these on my desktop here. 
desktop op xy and then you can additionally specify a name if you don't it'll just automatically infer it from your samples so let's just hit enter and go exporting samples there we go it has done it so now if you look here we have a folder called Aerials Room preset and a bunch of samples in there along with some JSON. So to add this to our OPXY, let's switch over to our screen here. Hopefully this works for us. It didn't a moment ago. Um, got your OPXY, it's turned on and we're plugged in. We're gonna hit COM. Oh, there is one thing I need to do before I do this. Forgot to mention we also need the OPXY field kit app um which just allows the opxy to mount on your computer if you're using a mac so let's go ahead and open that it doesn't actually open anything it just runs uh some some scripts in the background basically that allow you to mount it so we got that going now we can go back here we hit our com button to bring up this page and hit mtp boop and it should which it did bring up a folder on your computer for your OPXY. Now presets go inside of the presets folder and then you can create one level deep of, uh, of folders to kind of group a bunch of presets together. You see I already have one here called bubs that already has some stuff in it. So we'll create a new one that's just called YouTube. And then we just drag and drop Ariel's preset into there wait for it to copy almost there it's kind of slow also i recommend if you're doing a whole bunch of presets to drop them one at a time because sometimes the opxy will time out so once we have done that we can hit eject here give it a second to eject and it ejects now, I also always suggest turning the OPXY off and back on after file transfers. I've noticed there's um, sometimes it's a little funky if you don't. So let's turn her off, turn it back on. Wait for it to boot. Now we can go shift that. And if you see here, we scroll, we got a new folder called YouTube, Ariel's Room, select it. see that it's automatically changing the WAV file per key just the way we want it to which is pretty cool so now let's pop back over here and what we're gonna do oh, let's stay here for a second I'm gonna make some samples from this guy and automatically generate samples for a set of keys for this and then put them onto here so in order to do this we are going to use the record sample script um, gonna move the terminal over here and make it a bit bigger so we can see it and we'll get rid of this for now um, you can see i've ran it once before here in the background so just ignore that uh, what we're going to type is just python 3 and then record samples.py um, no arguments are needed because it's going to run us through sort of an automated process and ask us some questions. So we do that. The first thing it's going to ask us is for the MIDI device. And this is the device that you want to send the MIDI note signals to to trigger the, the sounds that you want to record. Um, we can select our device. We can also create a virtual MIDI device for use for controlling a DAW, which I'll go through in just a little bit. But for now, let's stick to the S1. So we can see the S1 is number six here. So let's just enter six. There we go. Our MIDI output channel is gonna be 14 is what I have it currently set to. Then it's gonna ask us for the audio device to record from. Um, you can select your uh, external audio interface or with the S1 here it has a built-in USB audio interface so we can just hit number two and it's going to record from that. Now it's going to ask us for the start key. The key is takes MIDI numbers where zero is the bottom of the keyboard and 127 is the very tippy top of the keyboard and middle C is number 60. 
So we're going to do 60 is where we want to start. And then our in key, we're going to do, we just want to record a few samples for the sake of this demo. So we're going to do 64, which is uh, E4. Then it's going to ask us how many semitones. So if we do one, it's going to record a sample for every key. If we do two, it's going to record every other key from the beginning to the end and so on and so forth. We're going to do one. And now it's going to ask us how many seconds to record for each sample. And this all depends on your uh, envelope settings, reverb settings, and all that. Um, this guy's got a pretty long reverb, so we're going to do four seconds for each. There we go. It's going to ask us for an output name. We're going to call this just S1. And the directory, which is where we want to put everything. So let's type that out. Do, 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 and throw this on the desktop in my OPXY folder. Now it's going to say press enter when you're ready to record. So let's do it. So now it's looping through each single note recording a sample for it. Just a second because it has to record four seconds for each. So you can see recording an entire keyboard would, would take some time, but it's a nice setting for doing this sort of thing. Then once it finishes recording, it's going to pack it all up into a patch. You can see we have a folder here now that has all of our little samples. And it's got some JSON here, which uh, sets the OPXY up for it. So let's really quickly just go ahead and drop that back onto our OPXY. So I got my OPXY turned on. I'm going to hit that COM button. MTP. It's going to mount it again, and we're going to drop our S1 preset into there. It's going to take it just a second to copy over. Now we're going to eject it. And now let's switch back to video here so you can see. We're going to turn this guy off, turn him back on, just because it's a little finicky. There you go. And now if we hit shift, you can see we have our S1 sample on there. You can see the actual audio files changing just like we want it to. So there you go. That's how you do it for a physical device. So the last thing we're going to do here is um, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, record tool to control a doll virtually, uh, such as Ableton, to then sample your really sick Ableton uh, instrument, whatever you got set up there. Um, so let's make sure I'm going to open up Ableton here. I just have a grand piano sample plugged in here. Hear it like that which is really great. One prerequisite for this is that you need um, black hole setup, which is a way to virtually route audio um, around on the Mac. I'm not going to show you how to set that up here, but there's plenty of great YouTube tutorials on how to do that. So we're going to run our tool here, Python record samples, and we're going to create a virtual MIDI device, which is going to route our MIDI to our DAW. So let's hit zero. Now it tells us to select virtual multi sampler as the MIDI input on our DAW. So we're going to pop over to our DAW here, MIDI in, and you see it's created a device here to control it. Press enter when ready. It's going to ask us for a channel. I'm just going to set one. It'll take any of them. Now our audio device, I'm going to select number five here, which is my black hole instance, which I just have everything routed to. There we go. Now I'm going to enter a start key. We'll do 60 again. We'll go to 63 again. We'll do one semitone each, and we'll just do two seconds. It's a pretty short little sample. We're going to call this piano. And then again, I'm going to put this on my desktop. There we go. And ready to record. So let's hit enter here. And we should see, yeah, we see the audio going through. It's recording each sample. There we 
we go. So now if we go back here, we got Piano preset and and the same JSON. And once more, we can go through that process of dumping it onto our OPXY, or you can use this to dump onto any multi-sampler, um, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that pretty much covers it for, uh, for this little video. I hope you all enjoy. Feel free to file any issues on the, um, the GitHub page or to comment on this video. I hope you all have a great day.